This is the culmination of two years of waiting for both Zhang and Christensen's families. Now, Christensen's parents won't be losing their son but to prison, but the Zhangs will never again have their daughter. And we continue our team coverage now. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting is live in Peoria. So, Courtney, uh, we saw that the family members of Yingying Zhang were very, very disappointed. Yeah, Paul, you could see family members, of course, of Christensen, first of all, next to me, his mother and his stepfather, just his mother in tears, and then embracing his stepfather as that decision, or lack of a decision, rather, was read. It was hard to read the expression on Christensen's face, but you could see him embracing members of his defense team. And Zhang's family, though, was even more difficult to read in the courtroom. They barely moved when the decision was read. The family's attorney, Steve Beckett, their attorney and liaison is here with me today. If you want to talk a little little bit about just how they're feeling right now in this moment. I think the decision pretty much took their breath away. Um, the family is devastated. Um, the second worst feeling to finding that your daughter was kidnapped and killed would be that the person who did it um, is not going to die. Uh, and remember, they're from China, uh, where justice is perhaps uh, more swift and direct um, we pride ourselves in our system of justice in America, and uh, just an example, I think, of how it's so difficult to uh, have a successful death penalty prosecution in the United States. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. And another attorney for the Zhang's family also gave this statement. If you have any humanity left in your soul, please help end our torment. Please let us bring Ying Ying home. On the other hand, Christensen's family and defense team have their victory, as Aaron said. They said yesterday Christensen isn't, quote, the worst of the worst, and that he's, quote, more, hor more than just the horrible thing he did. Now, the Zhang's, Zhang family from the beginning never directly asked for a death penalty in this case. They just said they would leave it up to the jury to decide. However, today they continue to plead with Christensen to end their torment by telling them where Zhang's remains are. Reporting live from Peoria, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Yeah, and I understand, Courtney, that uh, the judge also said that the least that Christensen could do was at least apologize for his crime. Courtney Bunting in Peoria again, thank you so much. Now, tonight at 6.30,